Hey my darlings, welcome to another video. Today I'll be showing you how I do this beautiful, nude, chic French set. Okay, let's get right into it. For today's set, I'll be making use of these regular curved nail tips. Um, these ones you can get from virtually anywhere. Um, I, I bought these on the roadside on my way home the other day. But I've prepped my nails already, you guys, and... Um, I'm just going to check for my sizes but before I do I want to sort of show you guys the difference between these um, curved ones and the regular ones that I use the one that I brought out the transparent one these are the ones I normally use you can see that they are very straight and then the curved ones are really curved I mean they're not really really curved but they are very curved actually okay so I've sized my nails already my tips already and I'm just going to um, glue them onto my nails now i clipped off the edges of the of the um, nail tips because they were sort of like eating into my um side walls yeah and I, I didn't want that to be uncomfortable so i just clipped that off and then um, glued the tips right onto my nails now if my nails you know, well i'm sure you notice that my nails are quite glossy or shiny and it's because i applied top coat and um cuticle oil so that i can take these nails off after i'm done with this set okay so i'm just applying the tips now and then when i'm done i'm going to trim them to my desired length and i'll show you how i shape these nails so that they still maintain their curved shape and then um you know i've got like a really nice shape as well like a nice crepe sh shape as well Usually when it comes to these curved tips, a lot of people do not like using them because um, like the shape just doesn't come out right and I kind of understand how they feel because in my early days when I used to do nails, um, these were the tips that I was using because they were cheaper, they are actually way cheaper than um, you know like really nice tips but I'm going to show you guys that you can still get a very nice shape using these nail tips without like um stressing you get so just stay back and watch Alrighty, guys i'm back from filing the other fingers and trimming them down yeah um i'm going to demonstrate to you guys how i felt the uh, my index finger to still maintain that curved shape as you guys can see on my other nails the, the curve is still there so first off what i do is take my cuticle scissors to trim off the flared out edge of this nail and um that just helps reduce the amount of um you know like it just helps reduce my filing time actually now i'm not putting my file under the nail i'm filing straight on the side if you want to taper it you might as well just taper it while you're filing straight but do not put your file underneath if you put your file underneath the file will eat into that um just that place where your free edge starts to grow your file will eat into that corner and then you're going to mess up your curve or mess up like the curve so you don't want to file um straight up you don't want to file on um, underneath sorry okay so i'm going to file on the sides just like i'm doing and then i'll crisp up my um free edge just like that you guys it's really really easy so also with these plastic tips you tend to notice um like residues underneath the nails i'll show you guys what i mean by that um but it's really easy to take out if you don't have a drill you can use your file to um, etch that out i'll show you guys in a second what i mean by that okay so do you guys see all of those um little white streaks that i just pulled out from the nail now if to take it out you just want to etch on your file following just on the, using just the edge of your file actually and following that curve you just want to etch around there so that you can um sort of file out those residues i'll show you guys properly on the other side so that you can see and it's usually very common when you use this um regular tips because they are made of plastic i believe 
So you need to pay attention to those, you know, like little residues because they sometimes they don't let you see your shape really well enough, and other times they sort of um, mess up with, like when you apply products and stuff, they sort of make the underneath of the nails um, very messy. So you really want to get all of those out every time you file, especially if you're using these nail tips. Okay, so I'm done filing my nails and now we're going to go right into application. These are the powders I'll be using today. I'm just going to swatch them very quickly so that you guys can see the different shades that I'd be working with. Because at some point in my video, I do not show me applying these powders. So just so that you're not alarmed and then you sort of have an idea of where the powders are coming from. Okay, so I did my thumb off camera and now I'm just going to explain really carefully how to create um, a, a smile line, sorry. Okay, so first I pick up my bead and I place it right where I want it to be, depending on how deep you want your smile line to be or how or from where you want it to start. Next, I start to pat it and um, at this point my room is actually cold so my bead is not setting as quickly as it would normally set it's taking quite a little um, longer than usual which i think is great because it gives me enough time to play and work with it but next you want to pat your bead down to create a smile line now here's the important thing if you're going to file your smile line afterwards you want to make sure that you create like um walls in quotes so that there's something for your file to rest on when you file now i'm carefully just molding my smile line because at this point i thought i'm not going to file it i'm just going to create like a very perfect smile line in my you know in my head and then i'm going to um you know like overlap it with whatever color i want to do but yeah which is why i took quite a long time patting it and playing around with it okay so next after creating the smile line you want to pick up your q-tip cool bead i usually like to do this in two steps so first we create the walls and then second we are um, finishing up on our q-tip comb and then I'm just going to blend whatever is left into this, um, you know, like into that smile line. It's really, really easy as you guys can see. Okay, so we're finished up with the first finger and usually doing the second hand is tricky for some people because they want to sort of measure up their smile lines to be um to sort of match the other one so the the, the the easiest way to do this is just to place your hands together like i did earlier to sort of see where you can drop your um bead so that you can create your smile line to match the second one and then you can like as you work you'll be able to figure out just how and where you should drop it alrighty guys so I basically much repeat the exact same thing on each finger um, I'd let you guys watch me work and then I'll come back to you guys when it's time to fill up the rest of the nail or sorry when it's time to crisp up the yeah, yeah, yeah maybe fill up the rest of the nail actually <laughs> when it's time to fill up the rest of the nail with um, the other nude colors I think 
It's the way life changes when in love, yeah I surround my soul with the positivity That's why I don't worry about the things that I don't see, yeah These days I don't worry about much I think we should have some more fun I still dream about the days when we were young I'll take a hit and still finish and run Find the one you should never give her up. I think it's the way life changes when in love. Yeah, I surround my soul with the positivity. That's why I don't worry about the things that I don't see. Yeah, these days I don't worry. Okay, so you guys, we are back, and I'm just filling up the um, nail with, you know, like the powders that I picked up, I, I picked out earlier in the beginning. Okay, so you'd notice that my middle finger, sorry, my ring finger doesn't have any product on it yet, and this is because, like, I kind of wanted, um, like, my my nudes to sort of go in, a, how, how do I say it, like a descending order of shades, but I, I didn't have, like, a shade that would fit so I um, I left it blank and then when I finished working with this one I just mixed out um, like a much milder shade of this brown to fit in Okay, so if you want to mix your own custom acrylic color, it's really easy. I'm picking up just I'm right now because I want to make a shade of nude. So I'm just picking up um, that brown, a much lighter shade of nude, and then I'm going to add some milk white, and finally I'm going to add some clear to sort of lighten the shade up, and then I'd work with that. It's really easy, you guys. You could mix up your powders like anyhow that you want. You just add whatever but you want you sort of want clear and um, white or milk white to be in there because if you add too much white the color becomes runny and then if you add too much clear it becomes too you know light so you sort of want to balance that out I don't have like a particular ratio of how I do it I just sort of eyeball my um, my product and pour it in Oh, baby. 
Okay, so we're done applying all of the products. This is what we've got and now we're on to filing. So the same filing routine that I did earlier, you want to file straight up on the side and then I'm going to go over the cuticles and then the body of the nail and then I'll crisp up that free edge. Um, I sort of had to speed up the video because it was getting a little too long you guys and I really don't want to bore you guys out especially for like returning um, subscribers. hey guys we are back from filing and buffering and yay this was my favorite part just spraying some alcohol on there that just looked like it really just brought out all of the colors um but yeah i sprayed alcohol so that i could brush out any dust because I, I i i didn't get the opportunity to wash my hands um but yeah that was why i sprayed alcohol and now i'm just going to apply top coats to these nails um and then we'll cure in the lamp and i'll show you guys what i've got later on Thank you all so much for watching this video. Um, I really hope you learned a thing or two. As you guys can see, my curves are still intact and my shape is amazing, you guys. Look at that. Um, but thank you so, so much for watching. Um, stay safe, you guys. Let me know what you think about this set and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.